So I grew up going to church. Parents always took us to church and I got saved when I was 12 years old. And all through high school, I followed the Lord, really just tried to live pleasing to Him. And then when I got into college, just kind of started to drift. I always, I always said like, I'll never do this, I'll never do these things. And then next thing I knew, I was just consumed, compromising, you know, doing drugs, alcohol, partying, just kind of walked away from the church and from the Lord. Just honestly, it was just curiosity. Just as like, you know, you'd see other people doing it and you were just curious, like, man, I wonder what, what this is all about, you know? And I would try to quit, try to quit, couldn't quit. And this went on for months, year, just trying, trying, and then we ended up taking a trip, a bunch of us to Tennessee, partying all, all week down there. What looked like I was having a great time, you know, and then just same thing, wake up every morning, empty feeling, you know, and somewhere between Tennessee and Louisiana is where I just was like, Lord, I can't do this anymore. Like I have to, I gotta have you. I can't deal with this anymore and just asking for help. Please help, please take this from me, you know? Like I had to come to the Lord just as I was with all my filth, guilt, shame, everything, and lay it at his feet, right? And then my story changed. I just felt like the Lord just spoke to my heart, you know, nothing audible, just in my heart. It's like, your problem is, you know, you're trying to quit it. Give it to me and I'll take it from you. And I was like, it's yours. And I felt like a million pound weight was just lifted off of me. I think some of the things we've walked through, like we understand the Lord's sovereignty, you know? I had prostate cancer at 39. Mercy with having autism and nonverbal, like that's been a challenge. But I think knowing the Lord and just trusting in his sovereignty, because sometimes you're like, why is she not getting better? But then you see the Lord use her to change other people and he's able to use us to reach out to people who are walking through the same things we've walked through. And you're so thankful that you're able to help them and you're able to um, just connect with them and understand some of the struggles that they're dealing with and that they're walking through. And that's how my story changed.